Welcome to the GEMDS video training series. In this video, I will be explaining the need for creating a one-time password and how to manage the one-time passwords you've created. The Orbit platform employs extensive security measures to prevent unauthorized access. As such, there are no hidden manufacturer passwords or other backdoors found in less secure products. If a password is lost, there is no way to access the unit except by using a one-time password for recovery. This must be established by the user beforehand. Without a one-time password, the unit will not be accessible and the hardware will need to be replaced. The factory will not be able to assist you if a password is lost, so creating a one-time password is strongly encouraged. One-time recovery passwords put control directly and exclusively in the user's hands. They are similar to spare keys for a lock. If you make a spare key and put it away for safety, you can take it out to quickly gain entry when your primary key is lost. If you don't make a spare, you are always at risk of locking yourself out. A one-time recovery password is different from the one used to log into the unit on a routine basis. It is only for use when the primary password is lost or forgotten. When a one-time password is used for login, that password is automatically revoked from the list of passwords created. You may create up to five one-time passwords at one time, and more can be created if some get used. A password cannot be used again for login to the unit, hence the name one-time password. To create a one-time recovery password, proceed as follows. Upon successful login, enter the following command. Request system recovery, one-time passwords, create function, then select your desired function, and then press enter. A one-time password is automatically generated and displayed on the screen. Copy this password and save it to the desired location on your PC. There is no way to ever view it again from the command line console, so be sure it is properly saved. To create additional one-time passwords, up to a total of five, repeat the steps that we just did. The two available functions are factory reset and login. Factory reset the unit resets the entire configuration to factory defaults, and login, the unit allows logging in with the admin privileges. To use the one-time password for login, proceed as follows. At the username prompt, enter the word recovery. At the password prompt, paste in the one-time password saved earlier on your PC. Using a one-time password forces the unit to perform the function which was previously defined when the password was created. Here are a few notes on deleting and managing your one-time passwords. As noted earlier, a one-time password is automatically revoked when it is used for login. A revoked password may be replaced, but it must first be removed from the list so that a new one may be generated. Any of the five stored passwords may be removed on demand. As long as there is a free slot, an additional password can be created, up to a maximum of five. Logs are generated when the user creates, deletes, or logs in with the one-time password. To remove an existing password from the list, proceed as follows. Enter the command request system recovery one time passwords delete identifier X, where X is the number from the currently available one time passwords. This identifier is not reused. If all five passwords have been created, then ID 1 can be deleted, and the next created password will be at ID 6. The current list of passwords may be viewed by issuing the command show system recovery one time passwords. If you have further questions about one-time passwords, check out the manual in the section for one-time passwords or visit our website at www.gemds.com.